There's a saying in real estate that says, you live with the payment, not the price. Hi, this is Greg Powers with Keller Williams Metropolitan, and this is Real Estate Smarts in under three minutes. Inventory is really tight right now, and I've been saying that for so long, I should probably get it tattooed on my arm. Mm, nah. And part of the reason it's so tight is because prices have been going up nationally for 102 straight months. 102 months? That's what? Eight and a half years. And homeowners who may want to move up or downsize will say to themselves, well, I'm not going to pay these prices. I'll just wait for the market to turn and prices to come down. And one of the things that could drive prices down would be a rise in interest rates. So let's see how that would affect you if you're thinking of selling and then buying. So let's say you buy a house at $400,000 with 10% down at a 3% interest rate. Your payment is $1,517.77. But now that house is $350,000 because rates have gone up to 4%. So now your payment is $1,503.86. So while the house is now $50,000 less, the difference in your monthly payment is only about $14. So, a $350,000 house sounds much better than a $400,000 house. But remember, you live with the payment, not the price. So you'll be thinking about the price as you purchase the house at the closing table, but every month thereafter, you're only going to be thinking about that payment, and there's not that big of a difference if interest rates go up. Most people don't decide to sell their house because they love packing up all their belongings and loading them onto a truck and moving down the road or across the country. Most people decide to sell to make their lives better. So ask yourself, is $14 a month enough to stop you from making your life better, finding that dream house and selling your current home? Only you can answer that. But if it's not enough to stop you, let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks a lot for watching.